Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Ethan Mitchell and this is part two of the FPV build video. Today we're gonna to take the Armiton Rooster HD that we put together. We're gonna to hook it up to the computer, do all the configurations in Betaflight, configure the ESCs using JESC, and then we're gonna take it out to the field and see how it flies. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get the air unit plugged into the computer, get it activated, and then we're going to hook up the flight controller and get everything configured. Okay, so we need to go into a DJI Assistant for FPV. We can see it right there. Gonna open that up. And now we're gonna go ahead and connect. So we're gonna power up the drone. Okay, and now we're going to plug in this side with a USB-C. Okay, and then we should see that pop up in the computer. Now we're going to double click, open it up, activate. Yep, and yes, 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 and yes. So right now it's activating, complete. And then we'll also update the firmware. It's recognizing it, okay. And we're gonna turn on, we're gonna power up the goggles. And I'll show you guys with the GoPro. All right, so you can see we got video in the goggles. We'll go ahead and get this configured the way I like to fly things. The DJI goggles are all hooked up. The air unit's all up to date, firmware's up to date. So what we gotta do now, we're gonna plug into Betaflight and we're gonna get everything configured so we're ready to fly. Okay, so we're plugged into Betaflight. This, on this Radix flight controller, I've already updated the firmware to, to Betaflight 4.1.0 and that's got the RPM filters on it. All right, so we're going through, I always uh, calibrate the accelerometer real quick. Uh, for the ports tab, um, the DJI unit was on UART 6, so we're going to enable MSP on UART 6. Um, UART 3 had our crossfire, it's already recognized that. And the GPS is on UART 1, that's going to be under sensor input, GPS. And it's going to, and that particular GPS is running at, the baud rate is um, 57600. Save and reboot. Alright, configuration. I am running motors backwards which it kept that. Uh, we're gonna drop down to D-Shot 300. Um, we have bi-directional D-Shot enabled. Uh, this is, these are 14 pull motors. I'm actually gonna drop the idle down to four. Um, arming is set to 180, that way we can arm even if it's angled a little bit and that'll help us get in the turbo, turtle mode. Uh, this is at four hertz, at four kilohertz. I have the accelerometer enabled. I'm gonna disable the barometer. We're not gonna use that. Um, we are already set up for crossfire. Uh, we are gonna enable the GPS chip and it is U-Block. It's on auto config. Uh, air mode is enabled, OSD, anti-gravity, dynamic filter, all that set. Uh, we are gonna to go to this also that will actually make the ESCs beep because I don't have a regular beeper installed yet. All right, so we're gonna save and reboot. Fail safe, I just want it to, actually I like to have it set to land. Okay, we're gonna to go to the receivers tab, I'm gonna turn on the radio. Welcome to open TX, switch morning. All right, so yep, yeah, we got our throttle values. All this is good. All right, here we go to the modes tab. We're gonna go ahead and do the arm. Set that. Um, angle mode. We're gonna use this one. That channel. Okay, so now for the motors tab. Plug in a battery. Click that. We do not have the props on. Nope. And we're gonna go around and check motor one, two, and three. So that is motor one, but it's spinning the wrong second. So we need to reverse motor one. We need to reverse, that is motor two, so that's good. So we need to reverse motor two. Motor three, that is right one. And 
and motor four. And it turns out they're all spinning the wrong way. All right, so let's get out of beta flight. We're gonna use JESC configurator. And this is so you can put bi-directional D-Shot firmware on the BL Heli S ESC. So we're gonna connect. You do need to have the battery plugged in to do this. Um, click read setup. So it's gonna read all the ESCs. ESC already has all the latest firmware and telemetry up to date. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna go through and reverse all the motors. Reverse. We'll click right setup. Now we can disconnect. It's gonna do its thing. Close out of that, go back in the beta flight and we'll check the motors again. All right, go to our motors tab. Motors. And one. Yep, that's right. Two. Two is right. Three is right. And four is correct. I want to set up the OSD real quick and then we'll set the PIDs. We're going to go to the PID tuning tab and set up our rates and filter settings. Go to rate profile settings. And these are the rates that I use. Okay, we'll go over to the PID profile and here I'm gonna leave this completely stock except for the feed forward transition. I know I typically like about 0.3 of feed forward transition, but when we go to tune a little deeper, that might change. Now we're gonna go over to the filter settings and we're gonna leave this all stock too. We're only gonna change the dynamic notch filter to what most people recommend. We're gonna switch the range to low. I'm gonna change the dynamic notch width to one. We're gonna change the dynamic notch Q to 250 and dynamic notch min hertz to 90. Again, we might change that once we start tuning, but we're gonna leave everything else alone. All right, so let's put the props on and head on out. Hey guys, well, we're out in the field and I have the newly built HD rooster quad with me. Uh, I just put a quick tune on this. Um, with the, the new Betaflight 4.1 with the RPM filters. All I did was put in the rates that I use and did a, just a little bit of tweaking in the filters, not really much at all. I didn't touch the, the sliders at all on the PID tab or the filters, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this for a quick flight and just make sure everything's working properly. With any new build, what I like to do, I like to put it on some concrete first and I put, I'm gonna just test it out, make sure it doesn't freak out. So basically I'm gonna tilt it to the right, tilt it to the left, raise it back up, raise it that up, and then maybe do a quick little hover and like a little bounce just to make sure it does, it's not gonna freak out. Okay, let's arm. Let's go to the right. That works, go to the left. Forward, seems to work. Okay, do a little hover and a little bounce. All right, that seems to do just fine. Okay, so it seemed to do pretty well, so we're gonna to, um, take it up for a flight and see how it goes. Okay. All right, let's take off. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star. Flying over streets and our broken hearts. But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Ooh, getting caught in the mist is a man that they'll never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame We all forget And we ride on the flames till the morning light Baby, cause we're dynamite I don't know if I would change it, it feels really good. Alright, so the flip is 
just got a little bit of bounce back there. Twitchy. A little twitchy. What if that's me on the yellow? We can just fly around a little smoothly. This thing flies All right, so there you have it guys, an Armor 10 rooster converted to the DJI HD system and running on 6S. If you're interested in these TPU parts, hit me up in the comments, I could definitely hook you up with some. As always, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to add, please leave a comment below. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.